I lied and I lied and I lied. I've lost my right uh, to do probably the thing that I will be best at and more, most gifted for in my life. That uh, I don't have the right to be in a profession that requires that amount of trust. I came to the Bayback Media Maker Fellowship with A Fragile Trust, which is this documentary about the Jason Blair New York Times plagiarism scandal. And I came with the hope of developing some outreach and engagement projects here. I am a third generation journalist. My dad was an editor at Time Magazine and his dad worked at the Brooklyn Eagle back in the day when that was around. And um, I actually desperately tried to avoid a career in journalism. Through a circuitous route, um, I found myself doing storytelling this way, this way, this way, and ultimately at a certain point I just said, okay, I guess I'm doing this. And I went back to graduate school at Berkeley, at UC Berkeley. And it was there when I was in the documentary program at UC Berkeley that I actually started work on this film, um, which is a film about journalism ethics. Um, and from, from there, you know, my interest in the field and specifically in why people do the things that they do, especially when people make bad decisions. I'm curious as to why they made those decisions. And so this seemed like a perfect sort of intersection of ethics and journalism, as well as an opportunity to talk about some of the bigger things that are happening with journalism right now, like where are we going? How can we improve upon the way things have always been done? Um, and there's, there's a lot of opportunity to talk about that stuff in exploring this one scandal. Through the course of the year, we met with all these amazing technologists who are really doing cutting edge work. And my ideas for the project definitely evolved. When I first came in, I, I think I had like a central website with a few different elements here and there. And at one point we had somebody come in to talk about alternate reality games. And a game is not something that I had really been thinking about for this project. But as soon as I heard the idea, um, it was like my brain was going and all these things started to fall into place and it just seemed like such a, a natural fit for the kind of work that I'm trying to do. Um, I developed and presented this alternate reality game which is called Decisions on Deadline. And it's a game where players are journalists. So players act as journalists reporting on a fictional news story. And then through the course of the game, they're faced with ethical dilemmas. And so by putting the player in these positions and, and having them navigate these sort of difficult ethical situations, um, it educates the players in a simulated environment so that if they do end up making bad decisions, all it is is a lower score in the game as opposed to if they're out there working in the field and they make these bad decisions, that could have much uh, bigger consequences like further eroding public trust in the media, causing a lot of um, negative backlash and other journalism scandals like the Jason Blair scandal. Another project that we're working on is called Ethics Check, and it's an HTML5 based mobile and tablet application, which is um, designed for our core audience of journalists and media makers. One of the main problems is that every outlet has a different code of ethics and standards of practice. And it's really hard to keep track of what the rules are for each place. So I developed this thing called Ethics Check, which we're fundraising for right now, um, which is an application that allows you to see uh, trends across different outlets. And you can sort of cross-reference different outlets with different policy points. With these tools, I can try and restore a little bit of the public faith in the media. You know, I've got all these grand plans, but oftentimes the immediate work of the day-to-day -day is what I end up doing. Committing to this and making the time in my schedule every month to be here with the other fellows meant that I would have a guaranteed space in my schedule to be really developing these projects. I love BayVac. It's such a great organization. And I also love working with other artists. And documentary filmmaking, Although it's a collaborative art form, a lot of what we do can be very solitary work. 
Um, we do a lot of writing. We do a lot of solicitation for funding to get our projects going. And the opportunity to work in concert with other like-minded artists is such a gift. Oh,